Hey guys, today I just wanted to share some details with you about Frontiers Go Wild All You Can Fly Pass. Now they have a lot of benefits and this is a great opportunity for someone that has the flexibility to fly all around the United States and the Caribbean. They even have South America options there for you as well. They have two options for the passes, a summer pass or an annual pass. Now we ended up going with the summer pass this time, this summer, so we'll be traveling a lot. Uh, we paid $3.99 for our pass. Now if you're gonna use it a lot, you're gonna get your money back. Now the pass is supposed to start on May 2nd. You'll be able to book domestic flights a day before or international flights 10 days ahead of time, which gives you plenty of time to plan out, get that hotel and get everything going. Uh, one thing about the pass is it does not include seats or luggage. So you do have to plan ahead for that. What I usually do is I make sure I check in a day before, 24 hours right before when, so if your flight is at eight o'clock PM tomorrow, tonight at 8 PM, make sure you go ahead and put that alarm clock on and check in right away, especially if you're traveling with somebody. You want to get a seat with them right so with this go wild pass you are able to book as long as they're a go wild member as well and then you have to have their frontier miles number and their date of birth and you'll be able to book together so that way when you check in you can check in together as well um, so that's a that's a good thing that I found out because my husband and I both have the pass so we book together and we're able to check in and we get this, the seats together. Now as far as luggage goes, you are allowed one personal item. So just look at the dimensions. It's not that bad actually. You can fit a good amount of stuff in the personal item baggage that they do allow. What we did is my husband got a bag that's the actual dimensions and it rolls and everything. So he's able to put it under his seat. And then I have a bag. It's actually a cute little bag uh, that's also a cooler that I'll make a video about how to pack for Frontier and, and get that bag to be a personal item so that way you don't have to pay that extra $60 each way or sometimes even more depending on where you're going. So look forward to that video later on. Another tip to be aware of, if you do have the pass, make sure you log on to there onto Frontier's website and um, when you go to your profile at the bottom, it's going to say auto renew. If you don't want your pass to auto renew, make sure you go ahead and click that button to turn it off or it's going to auto renew for the current price. So if you paid $3.99 for the summer pass like we did, go ahead and unclick that because it's going to charge you $1,000 when it comes up. So uh, what I, from what I've seen for the summer pass, it renews in September 30th. And then for the annual pass, May 2nd is the time that it'll renew and it'll be withdrawing from whatever account you used. So to avoid that, just go ahead and click that off or keep it on if you don't mind. Log into your Go Wild account on Frontier. Once you're logged in and you see on the top corner where it says your name and you're logged in, you can go ahead and go to the flights and search where you want to go from where and the date you're going to search the flight it's going to come up here if you see it shows three options here the discount den the regular amount and then the go wild option so that's the option you're going to want to click we're going to pay for taxes and fees which is not that bad if you see here it's about fourteen dollars and ninety one cents um, so you're paying less than forty dollars for a round trip ticket to somewhere in the United States. So you're gonna click on that and then you're gonna go through your regular booking. Um, just continue booking. Your information should already be saved there. Go through that, just make sure everything's correct and then go ahead with the payment and there you go. You're booked for your first flight with Frontier Go Wild Pass. Now for international, I did do a test for that just to see how much the taxes were. It looks like it's coming out to about $180 round trip, which is not bad 
because I seen it 400 or more round trip to go to Jamaica or Dominican Republic. So it's, it's still a pretty good deal there. So there you have it. You know how to book. You know what type of bag to take Look ahead of time. You can go ahead and check in and your seats are guaranteed. That's another thing I just wanted to point out there. Once you do book it, your seat is guaranteed. It's not a standby ticket. So there you have it. You're all set to go. Safe travels and have fun this summer or have fun this year, whichever pass you decided to book. Subscribe and enjoy the videos.